This is me doing work. This is me working. My name is David Adam Cruz. I run Oremus Industries, LLC. This is the art wall. My dad was a painter and uh, he did some amazing works of art when, uh, before I was born mostly. Um, and all my siblings and I just grew up with creativity very much prioritized in our house. I remember drawing uh, with my brothers um, when I was like four years old. We'd just sit down. That was like one of the games we'd play. We'd draw like dinosaurs and birds and stuff. When I was about 13 years old, it's so about 2003, my grandfather passed away. He lived in um, Northern California. And when I was out there as a kid, I would spend like a month out there, two months sometimes. And I'd play with his leatherwork tools and he had all kinds of tools um, and kits and little things. And when he passed away, uh, I inherited all of his tools and I didn't do anything with it for years. Uh, but in seminary, we have our Liturgy of the Hours book and I thought, gosh, I should make a leather cover for it. So I made one that was like so bad. Like it was so ugly. <laughs> it was like deer skin, it was inside out. And it was like sewed together and it like hardly fit on there. And I got it done. I'm like, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and uh, made a second one and the second one was way better. And then made a third one and the third one was way better. And then I made one for my Bible. And then I made another one. And then somebody asked me if I'd make one. And it just kind of started to grow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Now, in the last few months, it's expanded to bags and guitar straps and dog collars and, you know, Magnificat covers and journal covers and all kinds of stuff like that, but, yeah. All right, actual work. Working with your hands is it brings like a contemplative element to it, you know? Cause you can't, you can't um, separate yourself from the product itself. You know what I mean? Like when you have, you, when you have the, the ingredients of the product in your hands and then you have the final product in your hands and everything in between was in your hands, there's something really like contemplative about it. You know, we say, we talk about like, this is made out of love, you know? And there's something to that. You don't have to necessarily be like praying for the person that's going to receive it the whole time you're making it, although that's kind of a neat thing to do. Um, but just making it with your hands, you know, like it just, it is, you know, you, you just have so much of yourself invested in it, you know, and you know every little flaw and you know every little, you know, corner and crevice of the product itself. And I just think that there's something very natural about God creating us, you know, to be able to do stuff like that, you know? Um, and I think it really, uh, for me anyway, it just silences my soul. You know, it brings me, uh, brings me a lot of peace and just a lot of, I don't know, just a lot of satisfaction. My Catholic faith, I would say, <laughs> Could I say it's the source and summit <laughs> of my artwork, <laughs> you know? Um, I just, I really believe that Catholics um, have the responsibility of, um, of bringing eternal beauty into the world. Are you filming something? So if somebody, somebody orders, right, and uh, all of these leathers <clears throat> come from one of three different suppliers in the United States. Uh, one is in Minnesota, and you have an incredible variety of one kind of leather, right? Like this, I think, is, no, this is cow also. Turned white, dyed white, bleached, 
and it still has the texture there, you know? And just each of these, like they're so different. I love this kind, but this one's a little bit more tame, you know? And then you have stuff like this, which is distressed leather. So it like, if you fold it, it changes color, which is super cool. So you make a bag like this out of that. This is my bag. Very rustic. But yeah, somebody picks out a, a design, grab the pieces, and uh, get the template, you know, however, however it's needed. Put it on here, and, you know, so you can mark it like that. And, and cut it. There's lots of minute details in this process, but it's also pretty straightforward. Butter. The blade is really sharp, it cuts easy. Yeah, so you have a piece like this, and you basically just pound in your holes together. Comes out like that. You got a nice piece. Yeah. And then you sew it together. Sew it together, and you get something like this. And then you brand it. Put a button on it. And then, and hope that whoever puts their Great Adventure Bible in it reads their Bible more because when you do that, for whatever reason, when you have something beautiful over your Bible, even if it's already got a nice cover like this one does, um, yeah, it just makes you want to hold it, you know, and want to feel it and have it, you know. You don't forget it. It doesn't become something else on a shelf. It becomes a, um, yeah, like a sacred object more, you know. Very beautiful. Catholics have the responsibility, I think, of um, of also like continuing to challenge people to receive art in the right way. You know what I mean? And I think, you know, uh, God made us in his image and likeness, so he made us creators. He made us creative. And um, I just think that, man, it's, a, it's part of being a child of God. You know, it's doing art. G.K. Chesterton says that art is the signature of man. It's what makes man, man, you know? And he like has so many cool thoughts about art. Yeah. Um, but in particular, Catholic art, you know, it, it is the signature of, of redeemed man. You know what I mean? Because the signature of man, right, that could be anybody. You know, you could be making some pretty horrible art, you know, like morally horrible or whatever, you know? And, it, and it's still technically art, right? But when you're redeemed, you know, and when you're in unison with the church and you have the richness of the church's teaching, uh, the depth and like profundity of the church and her beauty uh, that you can put in the art, it's like the signature of redeemed man, you know? And I just, that's, I, I love it.
I mean, my dream, my dream is to, to make, to clothe the word, you know, the motto, the motto of the Oremus Industries LLC is clothing the word, you know, and it started with the leather company, right? And it's, it's literally clothing the word. It's putting little leather tuxedos on, you know, your Bible or your breviary, right? Or your Magnificat or whatever. Um, but clothing the word is an analogy for all art, you know, um, because clothing, clothing makes you presentable. It makes you, uh, it's a way of expressing yourself um, at a particular time. You wear certain clothing to a dinner party. You wear certain clothing to bed, you know, and clothing the word is, is sort of like the word being Jesus, the word being the word of God, um, the divine word, you know, clothing the word is, is making Jesus not presentable as if he's not presentable, but like uh, presentable in the way that he'll be received more smoothly. I mean, I, wanna, I want to have this leather company and I'm, my dream, one of my long-term dreams is to start a record label. And I think that will happen sooner than, than later. Uh, and I also want to have, I want to have like an art studio, like a, uh, like a Catholic art studio where you go and the whole point is, it's like a, it's like a, a guided meditation. And you really receive and you learn how to exercise that ability to do contemplation. I think the, the human heart has a faculty um, of being able to contemplate uh, the gift of being, the gift of life, the gift of, you know, um, earth, our faith, you know, the gift of beauty and truth and goodness, the gift of relationship and each other. We have this capacity to really receive that and, you know, and like, be still and know that I am God is kind of like that. Like, can we sit and just receive, you know, that beauty? And I would love to have an art studio where we exercise that faculty in people's hearts. We exercise that ability to contemplate, you know? And I just think that the world is so noisy, you know? And that, that ability is so weakened right now and we're so distracted and we're so multitasking and we're so deluded in so many ways. And yeah, to just come back to that, being okay with being right here, right now and appreciating something beautiful. People need to be, I think it would be really good. I think it'd be really good for um, the church and the world um, that people were willing to make, make the sacrifice necessary for good art, if that makes sense, you know? Like, um, yeah, the willingness to support artists who have put in a lot of time to master their craft. And the willingness to take the time to make something beautiful.